Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's episode of ReTV Live. You all know who I am, of course. I am your host, Ray the Reptile, and today I'm playing Transformers Forge to Fight. Now, that's right. This is the game you guys chose for me to play next. I had never played... Well, all right. I was going to say, I've never played this game before. Unfortunately, now I have, because I've already recorded an episode for this... And when I went to upload it, it was corrupt. So unfortunately, I am back now playing again, which doesn't bother me because I'm actually enjoying the game. But you guys don't get my initial reaction, so that's okay. Um, it's still a fun game. I'm not that far into it, so I actually only did a little bit of the first level just to kind of get through it. But I'm back anyway, so we're going to go ahead and continue to play today and give you guys my impressions. Now, right now, I have three bots. I have Opti obviously Optimus Prime, Ironhide, and Bludgeon. So Bludgeon is my only Decepticon. So there was a little bit of a, uh, a do we trust him type of thing there. And what we're finding out is in the story here, both Autobots and Decepticons are going to have to team together um, to come against this threat that is coming. So that's where we're sitting at right now. It plays a lot like my WWE Mayhem game where it's kind of a, a fighter. But it also has some cool power-ups. So we're going to go ahead and continue right along with the story here. Um, like I said, I recorded the whole first part. But unfortunately, as you see, 100% explored for a beast to start. Unfortunately, like I said, I went to upload. It was corrupt. It wouldn't load. And when I tried to repair it, the audio never synced up. So I don't know what happened. Either way, guys, we're back. We're going to play. So here we go. All right. Edit my squad. I need to add... Ironhide into the group. There we go. And let's go. And one thing that's kind of cool is the fact that it doesn't have voiceover dialogues. So what was really fun in the first episode as I did it, I did a bunch of the voiceovers. Um, but now we'll have to see. I don't know how much more talking there is, so we're going to find out. But All right. It looks like we're going to be Optimus Pine. Optimus Pine. Optimus Pine Tree, that's from the uh, Transformer Green Edition. Um, Optimus Prime is going to take on Grinder. So, it, uh, yeah, no, his class is higher. So, yeah, so, all right, so here we go. This is what we got with this game here. So, we're going to go ahead and go fight. Um, we do the same type of swiping and uh, 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 tapping that you would see in a game like Injustice or uh, Mortal Kombat. WWE Mayhem, all those type of same type of things here, but in the Transformers world. So, are you not going to do anything? All right. And the cool thing is, at a distance, I can shoot. So, um, I have seen, so you can kind of see here, this is actually, so I'm Optimus, obviously based on Gen 1 style look, whereas uh, Grinder, if you notice above his name in the upper right hand corner, he is based on the Revenge of the Fallen look. So they have a mixture um, of different genre Transformers, which is kind of cool. I've already encountered a Beast Wars character, which is kind of cool. Um, uh, someone from the... See, Revenge of the Fallen was what? Second one? So Dark of the Moon I've uh, encountered. And everything else. So, all right. Ooh, now I can decide which way do I want to go. Oh, here we go. Here's some voices. I can do voices for you guys. <clears throat> Teletrain has potted... Oh, you know, if I'm going to do voices, i got to be able to read. Let's try that again. <clears throat> Teletrain has plotted two possible courses for the next catch of resources. One path appears to contain more formidable... Comp combatants I'm sorry I can't talk my my tongue is my tongue is stuck it's all swollen up <laughs> anyway more formidable combatants likely protecting items of value or you can take the easier path demise at my hand awaits you either way <laughs> star scream don't you ever learn by the way, also, can't do Optimus' voices. Just bear with me. Oh, I've learned lots, Auto Fool. I've learned the power of the Ore 13 has enabled me to do what Megatron has failed to do time and again. Crush you! <laughs> Alright, guys. So, 
Let's go right. Yes, go go that way. What, what do I do? Go? There we go. All right. So here we go. And I'll be Ironhide this time, taking on Windblade. I don't know anything. So yeah, so the the whole so the whole idea behind the Autobots by Adeline each other is the fact that they are confused and their mind has been uh, misguided, if you will. It's it's a little confused. So I should not be recording this right after work. Apparently, I can't talk. All right, here we go. Ironhide, Revenge of the Fallen, look with Windblade. Shot there. Boom, boom. And then I can, as I tap, I battle. If I step back and tap, I shoot. If I hold, I have a vehicle uh, melee. KO. Iron, okay, Ironhide. Calm down, Ironhide. Jeez. Take it easy. Like I said, I am enjoying the game. The The visual effects are really nice. The graphics are nice. I've, I've always been a fan of Transformers. You know, it's funny because I'm sitting here thinking about things I said in the last episode that I, I don't want to repeat, but then again, you're not going to see the last episode because it was corrupt. I am a Transformers fan. I grew up on Transformers. Um, I have all the original Transformers cartoons downstairs in my basement. The other one you could watch would be G.I. Joe. I never got into G.I. Joe as much, so... <clears throat> More voices. <clears throat> Commander, we found repair kits around this planet that could help us. I added one to your inventory prior to the mission. If needed, I suggest using it before your next battle. Yes, Commander. Listen to your acquainted medical officer, but it won't matter. When I'm done with you, Ratchet's, free, uh, Ratchet's famed as sick bay will be your final destination. So I could be anyone right here. Starscream um, is a 97. I don't want to take Bludgeon. Um, but I think I want to be Optimus because that's the better battle. Ironhide has the advantage, but it's got to be Optimus. It's got to be Optimus against Starscream. All right, here we go. Uh, my favorite Transformer of all time. Thank you for asking. Whoever said that out there, I, I kind of heard it real quietly. Um, Soundwave. Soundwave was always my favorite, so. Okay, let's see. I don't remember how to go. Oh, yeah, that's right. Swipe this way. Okay. It's like, I don't remember how to dodge things. Whoa. I'll try to get a really cool uh, finisher at the end here, if I can. Oh, whoa, not you, me. All right, well, it's going to be a hoo, hoo. back up. Come on, just need a little bit more for that three. All right, come on. Daytime finisher, come on, come on, move. Do I have all three yet? Come on. There we go, ready? Roll out. Bam. Big X. Oh, Starscream defeated. Optimus Prime wins. Fatality. Okay, not fatality, but... All right, so there we go. Got that one finished. It was a little bit of a shorter level. We are still in the introductory, so I expected it to be. Um, blah, blah, blah. Let's go play next. We'll do one more little episode here and see where we're sitting. So, And I pray that everything goes well and we don't have that issue. Commander, Prowl just got back from surveying the terrain ahead. There's a brew of dust storm from Beta 4 proportions. Through the dust, he thought what might appear to be a Dinobot. Me no Dinobot! Me Grimlock! King Dinobot! Uh-oh. Things just took a turn for the dim-witted. Dumb-witted? What do you mean? Me smash you! When me ready. <laughs> Having fun doing the voices. Alright, so let's go to the next part here. Alright. All right, so now it's Optimus Prime versus Ratchet. 
Autobot versus Autobot. All right, here we go. Let's see who's going to win. All right, so let's see here. Um, I know I talked about in the first video, and I didn't get to mention it here yet, is the movies themselves. I The first movie I'm a big fan of. I really enjoyed the first movie. Um, wow, look at that. Look at that in the background. That is awesome. The, like I said, the visuals for a phone game, are, they've gotten so amazing. This is better than anything we played on a, a Game Boy or anything like that. But um, the, uh, the movies themselves, I was a big fan of the first one. The second one, I wasn't a fan of. And they just continued to get worse. I honestly believe that the inclusion of Shia LaBeouf continuing wasn't needed. Sam Witwicky, I thought, was a good character for the first one. But he wasn't needed throughout the whole series. He wasn't a, a guy that you would count on to save everyone. So it's just, it was one of those ones I didn't really care for. So I have more intel on Grimlock. He's up ahead. And from what I gather, he is preparing some sort of object to strengthen his defenses. Ah, Prowl talk too much. But him right. Me have a secret for fight. Me big smart. Commander, you take care of the task at hand. I'll investigate his secret and report back. Alright, so I can go this way or that way. Um, I'll go this way. Rhinox. He's a Beast Wars character. Or... Ultra Magnus. Uh, we're going to go Rhinox. Beep. Beep. Go. 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 You. Go that way. Thank you. All right. And we're going to go ahead and use Bludgeon. Ooh, Bludgeon's a lower character. So this will be the first time I've tried a... a uh, a lower level character against a higher level. So let's see how we do. Should be interesting. Um, no, my my big thing with uh, I don't know why you gave me a instructions. I've already been swiping. Um, the uh, the thing with the movies is like I said, Sam Witwicky. He wasn't that type of character. He just he could have been around for the first one and then not been around. But um. And then I feel the same way with the Mark Wahlberg character. He's he's unnecessary. Um, I think they could do movies now with Transformers and not need anyone else. That was actually quite easy, even though my character was lower. So um, it just Mark Wahlberg was an inventor. He he couldn't save the world. He didn't need to keep going. Now I'll admit I still have not seen the Last Night yet. I will eventually. I just I have no eagerness to. Um, hey, get out of there, Big Ray! What are you doing? Don't interrupt my show, Ray. Jeez, Big Ray interrupting Ray TV. Ironic. All right, so now I'm back over here to take on Mirage. We're going to use Bludgeon again. Don't need to repair him. And let's see what we can do next. All right. Yeah. Um. Oh, I made him bleed. Interesting. Why do you keep telling me to sidestep? I'm. I got it. I'm not in the introduction anymore. If I lose, I lose. That's not your fault. So quit telling me what to do. And chopped again. Um, <clears throat> I would love to see a movie that takes place completely on Cybertron. Much like the game uh, w uh, War for Cybertron. Uh, yeah, War for Cybertron was the first one. Then it was Fall, for S Fall of Cybertron. So the first one was really good. So I've got some bad news. King Dimlock has somehow rigged a device that modifies his powers. That's right! Me told you, Nobozo! Me have mod! 
You are fleshy with weak bots. Ha 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 ha. You lose. Commander, you distract him in battle. I'll see what I can do about getting this mod tech back to the base for analysis. It could be of use someday. All right, so Optimus is going to take on Grimlock. Grimlock, I, I hate the way the Dinobots were portrayed in the uh, movies. They were horrible, but then again, to make them realistic, it would have been really tough, so... Alright, so me have power. I don't know what that means. Jeez. I don't see anything different about him. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I know he's getting powered up quick, but watch this. Bam, bam. Ha! Armor break KO already. That's it. I was expecting something a lot bigger, but you know what? It is what it is. So, all right, so now I think after this one, it's going to ask if I want to go on, which I'm not. So I'm going to go back to the missions right now so you guys can see what we got. Back to the missions. And yeah, so obviously, as you see, episode, uh, yeah, chapters two and three only have 78% explored because of the fact that I took one path over the other. So I'm assuming I can go back and uh, take some different paths or anything like that. There are a lot of cool things on this where you can actually uh, upgrade uh, everything. Uh, crystals, I'm not sure exactly how they work yet, but I know they help you unlock more characters, things like that. Um, and then your home base. <coughs> I've been holding that cough in forever, trying not to cough. Your home base looks a lot like this. This is where you get some free crystals and everything like that. So, anyway, guys, um, that's what we have. What is the little bomb up here in my... Uh, settings kablam account a wise commander would create I don't have kablam I signed in through google perhaps you would a valuable okay you know what later we'll, we'll look at that later because I don't know what kablam is so alright guys anyway that's what we're going to leave for this episode I hope it works Um, <laughs> if not you'll never hear this but if you do if you liked it, hit the like button down below. If you want to, subscribe. I got new videos every Monday through Friday. Um, and then on the weekends, I'm off, so screw you. <laughs> all right, guys. Anyway, that's all I have for today. So until the next episode of Ray TV, I'm your host, Ray the Reptile. I'll see you all later. Peace!